Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing the very basics of public finance, what it is, its components, and job prospects. Public finance is generally regarded as the study of government finance at the federal, state, or local level. Level does not matter, it is just government finance in general. Its components generally consist of income, expenses, and budgeting. So we're going to talk about those individual pieces, break them down, what they mean in the context of public finance. And at the very end of the video, if you stick around, we're going to discuss some career opportunities and paths available to those looking to go into public finance. The first major piece of the income component of public finance is tax collection. This is one of the major revenue methods for governments of all varieties. These taxes can include income taxes, consumptions or sales taxes, as well as a variety of local taxes such as school district, local sales tax, vehicle registration, anything that the government does to bring in revenue. Uh, these also include special tax zones such as a stadium tax, a TIF district, or something to that effect which encourages either development but brings in tax dollars towards the government in the long haul. The second major piece of the revenue component of public finance is debt issuance. This is when a government issues bonds, in the case of a federal government of a country, it is regarded as the national debt. Um, bonds are also issued at the municipal level and lower. Um, sometimes these bonds of different governments have special treatments for tax purposes that incentivize citizens within the country to purchase these. Um, but it is a way for a government to raise capital on the global market. It is generally associated with a low borrowing cost as a government can print money to fund its obligations. So default risk is generally seen as low and debt issuance exists for governments because there are generally limited alternatives. Tax hikes are generally unpopular with the population they are governing and minting additional money just to pay for expenses tends to devalue a currency. So that's overall an unattractive option, leaving debt issuance as the major piece of revenue generation outside of taxes. Before we move on to the last portion of the video with expenses, budgeting, and careers, if you're enjoying the video today or found it useful, we would greatly appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or requests for other topics, please go ahead and put those down in the comments section. And now let's move on to the rest of the video. While the revenue generating component of public finance is quite large, perhaps even larger is the expense component. Uh, governments generally tend to spend money on three main areas. These can include government functions. So this is salaries, maintenance, defense, things to keep a government running and provide some of the services uh, outside of programs that citizens expect, such as national defense. These are necessary to the functioning of a government. Uh, the next is infrastructure. This is in a category somewhat on its own, as there is private infrastructure in some countries, um, but generally speaking, governments are expected to contribute to road projects, rails, ports, other major pieces of infrastructure that help to drive the economy. These are seen as good expenses for a country. And the final component, which a lot of others fall into, is government programs. These can include welfare programs such as unemployment, it can be health care programs, it can be wealth redistribution schemes, it can be a very wide variety of programs. But generally, these are programs that the government initiates to help the population, and it generally redistributes some of those tax dollars to those that are more needy, though that is not always the case. While income and expenses are very large and important components to public finance, perhaps the most important one is budgeting. When budgeting, governments generally attempt to run a surplus or at break even. A surplus is when a government brings in more money than what it spends, while a deficit generally leads to a national debt, which is spending more than that government brings in. A uh, plan for future and long-term expenses is one of the keys of budgeting, as well as forecasting income. Tax can generally be stagnant or it can go higher or lower, and planning around those income streams to appropriate expenses in the future and controlling them is one of the keys to a government successfully being financed, and it is the major key in public finance. In the realm of public finance, there are a multitude of careers, especially with larger government organizations. We've chosen to display some here today that we think are most relevant to our subscribers. <clears throat> oh, I mean uh, viewers, but anyways, 
there are disciplines in accounting. Um, these can be associated with audits, with tax and revenue purposes, or with government accountability offices to track what has transpired financially within government finance. An additional area is analysis or forecasting areas. These can be forecasting out revenues or expenditures specific to different departments or areas of government. There are also budgeting focuses within this that focus on balancing those income and expenses and planning, which while it sounds similar to forecasting, planning generally takes a more operational standpoint. There are also procurement careers. These decide what, where, and who to buy from based on government mandates. These also include logistics and supply chain positions. And finally, there are those that can focus on academia and research positions. These would research things like spending usage and efficiency. They can fit in with some of these other positions, but these are generally outside of government, but generally have a focus on public finance. So that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching today. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or requests for other topics, please go ahead and put those down in the comments section. And we'll see you next time.